Hello, everybody. Hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Welcome to episode 11. Can you believe we've been doing this for 11 weeks already? To Shop Social with Kim. Super excited to have you guys along. I hope you're feeling cozy. I hope you're feeling a little bit like cool in your basement if you're watching us on the big screen uh, because we have some wonderful little fall options for you. So we are going to do some Tribal Tuesday fall on Friday. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's amazing how all of a sudden after that August long weekend sort of flips the page, suddenly we get into a bit of a fall mode. So if this is your first time joining us, welcome. My name is Kim. You're joining Johnson's in Gimli, Manitoba. Uh, we are so happy to have you along. Uh, we are having viewers from coast to coast to coast. So we've had viewers from the East Coast, PEI, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. Um, we have a group, of, a great group of gals in Alberta that tune in um, every Wednesday. We have a great group in BC. And of course, um, in the heart of Manitoba, where we are, Gimli, Manitoba, we've got lots and lots and lots. So um, the main main point that you have to do, I can't even talk today. Let's try that again. To enter the draws for this evening, all that you have to do is leave us a comment. Hi, my name is, where are you watching from? And are you watching live or on the replay? And uh, we will be doing a draw for a $50 Johnson's gift card to start your fall shopping for this evening. So don't forget to do that. Hello, everybody who's joined us already. We're at exactly seven o'clock. We are going to give everyone a couple more minutes to hop on before we launch into our well, we called it fall preview, but then I changed my mind to like bring on fall because um, as we were chatting about last week, I love fall. This is my very favorite season of the year. Uh, September is probably my favorite month of the year. It's just, I love those sort of cool evenings. I love the warm colors. I love lots and lots of texture. So we're going to show you uh, some great options for that tonight. So what we have is kind of a mishmash a little bit of what we've gotten in so far. Um, we've done a really, uh, Maggie's done a really good job on the storyboard um, that you see behind me. So this is our, our little um, preview of the colors. Notice uh, there is some browns and nutmegs. So that is what we, one we haven't seen for a few seasons. So the last few falls have been predominantly like blacks and charcoals and grays and more cooler colors. And this year we are seeing a bit of a return to those warmer tones and some really nice, um, cozy, tactile, fuzzy fabric. So I think I'm going to try to get as much close up as I can, um, to show that, show you guys kind of the weight of the fabric. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Okay. So 701, give everyone a couple more minutes. So. Hello ladies, hello. Hi Karen from BC. Hi Dorothy. I have to get a little closer, I should really. It's like I have to watch my angle. It's like three chins, one chin, there we go. Uh, hello Dolores, hi Audrey, hi guys. Okay, so um, without further ado, we will get moving. We'll try to meet our 740 target and uh, see how far we get with that. So what we have for you this evening is our first delivery of Tribal and not in its entirety. So this is just sort of our first little capsule collection. We have um, also I'm going to pull the items that I had done in the previous Tribal Tuesday. The reason is because now they make a little bit more sense in the color capsule. So like we had gotten one of the sweaters in olive green. I'm like, okay, well, this is a nice sweater, but doesn't match anything that we have. We gotten one of the blue sweaters. So same kind of thing, right? So as everything kind of rolls in, we always do storyboards, um, like exactly kind of how you see it behind me. We always do storyboards just to kind of get, like make sure that you have the right matching stuff, right? Basically. And this year, uh, because we were not able to see it in person, we had to do a, a four hour FaceTime to do our booking. Um, so it's a little bit different. So I actually wasn't able to do this right when we were buying, which is unusual for us. We had two really terrible storm days in January. It seemed in January that there was a storm like every single like second day, pretty much. So yeah, we had two rescheduled appointments and then we figured not, nah, you know what, we'll just do it on Zoom. So yeah, so it was definitely a different experience. So hopefully it works out um, in, in reality, the way it worked out in my head. So, um, yeah. And then we have the new Dolceza, uh, first delivery only, of course. So we do have the new prints. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each artist and that kind of thing. Um, a little bit of sportswear as well from Dolceza. So we have the outerwear, we have a little bit of sportswear, and then we also have a couple of new shoes that we just got in the last couple of days. So, okay. 703. All right. So we'll announce our housekeeping from last week and then we'll dip right into our, um, bring on fall 
I changed it from, did I say say that already? I changed it from fall preview because we've already had a little preview. So now we're going to like dive right in. Okay. So from last week, thank you guys for watching our uh, Riker Romante and uh, Mephisto presentation. We have one winner for watching live and we have one winner for watching the replay and that is a free pair of Riker Romante or Mephisto of your choice. And so we first we have for watching live, uh, that is going to be the Riker Romante draw and the winner is Brenna Raymer from Gimli. And watching the replay, which is going to be the Mephisto uh, pair is Irene Kanaski from Bozizer. So congratulations, ladies. Um, I'll be sending you guys a message to claim your prize or make arrangements uh, to send it out. So uh, last bit of housekeeping. Uh, so I apologize for the rescheduled uh, one and only sale from today. Festival weekend kind of got super, super busy and I didn't get quite as much done on that as I would have liked. Um, so we've decided to push it back a week just to have a little bit more time to prepare. So our one and only Facebook sale is going to be a week from tonight, Wednesday, August 10th and it's going to be live right here just like usual so that will take the place of our regular wednesday event um it's important that you're on live so that kind of gives you the best chance of getting um the discounted product we're going to have between 20 and 25 products um how you're going to buy them is different from the way that we did it last time so we, i'm going to i am going to create a special curated collection page on our website so it's johnsonsfashion.com it'll be right underneath the I think I'll probably put it just in the regular menu. Um, it'll be the one and only Facebook sale. So you just click that and all 20, 20 to 25 products will be there. You click it, you check out and you pay online and then you can either select shipping or you pay in store. Um, it kind of gives everybody from across Canada the best chance of, of getting their item. Uh, this is a new way to do it. We haven't ever done it like this before and just kind of a trial run, right? So just trying something different. Um, if it doesn't work, we'll just try something different the next time. So no biggie. Uh, the collection will be only on sale for the deeper discount for 24 hours. So it'll be live at th Wednesday at 7 p.m. And then it will disappear Thursday at 7 p.m. So whatever, even if the pieces haven't sold by Thursday at 7 p.m., the collection will be down from the website and they'll go back to either regular or just the regular 20% uh, off. So I hope that's clear as mud. I, it's, it's a little bit more solidified for me. So if you have any questions, please ask and I'll definitely address them as soon as I watch the video tomorrow. So uh last thing our spring and summer uh clearance has started so i haven't sent the email out it'll go out in the next couple of days uh, we wanted to get everything marked down it's just been really busy the last couple of days so we haven't gotten as much marked um as we thought so yeah hopefully by tomorrow evening we'll have everything kind of red tagged and yeah so 20 percent off and then some at 50 of course i have a couple a one um half price rack in the women's wear and one uh some in the in the um women's footwear as well so yeah and that's always a fun time. That'll be till the end of the month. So, okay. So let's, without further ado, 707. We've got us 30 to 32 minutes of fun fall fashion coming up. Okay. So first of all, uh, we're going to get Maggie to bring us our first little outfit. So hello, Missy. Okay. So we have uh, one of our very sort of fun colors. So I don't know what your thoughts are on black or nutmeg or brown. Um, so this one is kind of, it's called Sierra. The color is actually... A really nice sort of warm to me it's not make I know I always make up like I always make up color names right but yeah it's called Sierra and so we have a fun little sweater if you want to just take this the vest off so they can just see the sweater it's kind of a different like cut on it right yeah it has the and are those functioning buttons, buttons? I think mm, no no they are okay not. thank goodness I don't think we I don't think we need to be unbuttoned on that no. <laughs> <laughs> okay so non-functioning buttons um, but I'll, just that little bit of a tortoise shell, right? So either still bringing that warmth right even into the accessories and notice the shorter length. So with the pants being that little bit higher waist, whether you like it or not, um, the tops are getting a little bit shorter. So this one actually kind of has a bit of a curved bottom. So kind of that shirt tail yeah. bottom back in front, actually really cute. And that little rib knit sleeve, um, we're showing yes. it with the pant tone on tone. Yeah, rib it's cute. Sleeve. Yeah, super cute. So the pant is a stretch twill. I would say ankle length on Maggie, but probably Full close length. to regular length on most of us. So it's yeah. probably a 30 to 31 inseam, I would say for the pant. Um, it is a garment dyed suede twill. So it's a really nice soft hand. And was, is it a pull on waist? Yes, right? Yes, pull okay, on pull waist, on waist. no button. Yep. Okay, but it does have belt loops. It if does Crystal, have belt loops. Yeah, belt if Crystal's loops. watching, she'll be happy to know that it does have belt loops. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
some gals are always looking for pull-ons and but it's hard to get pants with an actual belt loop lots of them and if you're small in the back like lots of ladies have that sort of gap in the back so if they don't have mm -hmm. a belt loop sometimes it's hard to kind of get that true fit so yeah this one i was happy to see did have a belt loop as well and a nice wide bottom like a wide hemline kind of a cute detail and we've topped it with the vest, which you did see very... Did we see it? Did we show this I one last time? I don't know if this color Yeah, we the had vest. the other color in the vest. So I'm going to show you that other color after in a minute. Um, but really, really nice with the with that Sierra color. So, mm -hmm. And really nice back to jeans. So I think if you thought of doing a, a nice dark denim jean, that would be really nice with it. And then uh, one of our brand new sneakers. I don't know if you can see the sneakers. We kind of don't have, have to a... slip it off. Yeah, if you want to just slip it off. Show you. So those are the Vionics. And if you're looking for a leather sneaker really really cute color going into the fall so to me kind of a dove gray color if you're like a white sneaker person for the summer i know i got the vionic beach sneakers in the white and i really like them i might find them a bit light going into the fall so this is a nice really nice transition just sort of drain that hue a little bit and have a bit of more of a bit more coloration but not like dark gray just a little bit toned down from the white that glaring white um really really nice and full grain leather so super comfortable really nice arch support hey mm -hmm. yeah kind of has a bit of that bowling shoe look to it but just a nice classic sneaker we've done tons of buying already for spring summer 2023 and i can tell you with certainty that sneakers are not going anywhere there's like i ordered probably double the amount of the vionic beach <laughs> colors for next year than we had this year um super super popular and i i love that one that it's leather like i like yeah. the canvas and it's it's fun and ratchy and weekendy but like if i was to wear one to work like with a little oh, simply leather. jogger or something, I would probably pick that one. Yeah, so definitely. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So that's our first co uh, color combination. I'm going to show you a couple more options uh, from here. And now this one. So color wise, we just pulled these two from here, right? Okay. So this is one of the other new tops. And I think I did show this one really briefly. And it does have a bit of a princess line. I don't know if you can see it. Like it's very hard to see. Anyways, a little bit of a princess line, but it is pretty tunicky. So don't think that the princess line has any effect on the fit because it really doesn't. Um, it's just for style only. So this for, this would be a good top for me. It's a little bit boxier, a bit longer, uh, but really nice back to that Sierra pant that Maggie was wearing. So really a nice option there. Next one is this one might look a little bit familiar because it does... I think we showed it last week, but again, really nice back to that Sierra pant. So now it's making a little bit more sense in my mind. I'm like, okay, so I could do navy, I could do denim, or I could get a little fashion pant and think about doing that. Okay, so that's that. And this is the shirt. I'll just show you up a little bit. So this is a really nice heathered fleece. So a few seasons ago, I don't know if maybe some of you bought it. A few seasons ago, um, they did a really cute vest and sweater combination. There was like royal blue, um, black, and hot pink. And then they did vests around it that were reversible and they had plaid. I bought them anyway. Um, so I bought the sweater in pink and I love it. It's like a super soft hand, nice drop shoulder. So very relaxed fitting. But again, just that little bit of a shorter length. So kind of is a really nice different view. Okay, so then I won't show you that. And oh, while we're on the subject, I will just show you this little boot because I'm wearing it. Just because I happen to wear this only because I knew that it matched the boot. You probably, I wonder how far back, oops, wonder how far back you can see. Probably not that far. Probably, maybe catching the end of it. Maybe okay. catching the end of it. Anyway. Okay, so this is the Miss Moose, and if for those of you who know and love Miss Moose, uh, you will know that this is one of their very classic designs. They're really known for the covered buttons, pull on no tongue, so this is all one piece, and then the side zipper in cognac. Oh, so gorgeous. So I will admit, when I put these on, after putting my fit flops on all day, I'm like, oh, these like actually feel pretty tight. And I'm like, I don't know that I can walk in these. And then now that I've been wearing them for like 10 or 15 minutes, I actually forget I even have them on my feet. They are like butter soft leather, like so gorgeous. Um, not a lot of arch support, I will tell you, but what, may, what, what you may lose in some of the arch support, you gain in style. So yes, wonderful. And I think I probably have them calling it, coming in other colors as well. But yeah, I just thought they kind of worked without what I was wearing today. So perfect. Okay, so next outfit in this storyboard is, so we're doing the same pant. And okay, so the shirt is kind of different, right? We have to do a bit of explaining. Yes. So the shirt, you might think, oh my God, it's a jacket. I gotta go buy that right now. But 
And it is sort of a shacket. Sort of. Sort of. But it's like, okay, so the, the front is denim. And the back is like interlock, like t-shirt fabric, right? Yeah, like, the like front's the inside. more like it's almost like a fake quilted. Yeah. So is it? A, it's not. It's printed quilted. Oh no, I, it's it stitched. feels a little. No, it's so the quilting is stitched. Yeah. But it kind of has like that oversized, like really lots of room in here, like uh, like this to me is what makes it look like a shacket, like the drop shoulder. Yeah. She's got lots of room in the bodice. Um, and a long sort of shirt tail. So yeah, turn yeah. around. Yeah, so it's it's pretty it's long really actually. Long. Yeah. Like it's even long on her. And then again, lots of room in here. So like this is something that you could certainly wear with a hoodie underneath, but it's not heavy. No, but it is thicker than just It's a, thicker a than a jean shirt. Yes. So if you were wearing it inside, you might find it a little bit heavy. And it's buttons. And it's no, snap. So even better. Old snap buttons. Yeah, so pockets. kind of that antique look. But even when, so even when you put your hands in the pockets, you kind of have that shacket look to it. Yeah. Like you, you have that real slouch. It looks far nicer on actually yes. than on the hanger. I would definitely, like I would wear this. Yeah, totally. I would definitely pair it with like a sweater and jeans. Yeah. 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 It's cute. I like For it. For sure. I know. I actually didn't like it until I saw it on. I'm like, you know what? It looks sort of, to me, it looks like farmhousey. And I'm not really a farmhouse <laughs> anything. Um, but it actually isn't. Like once you put it with the coordinates and I love it with pulling out that little bit of Sierra with the button. Mm -hmm. Really, really pretty. Yeah. yeah. So that's I, why I put it in this grouping. I thought, a, I think the button matches. Yes. It, that is a pleasant surprise. So perfect. So yeah, definitely. Uh, it's kind of funny because as we do the videos, we start to try everything on, like even the boots, I may not have bothered to try them on until like, I'm like, Oh, okay. The last eight is there. I better try it on before my size goes. But because we're kind of getting everything together, it gives us an opportunity to kind of almost fit test, right? Like there was a couple things I'm going to show you in a little bit that we were like, oh, that's like totally not at all what I thought it was going to look like. So it's kind of fun to do it like this. I hope you guys are enjoying that part of it. Okay, so we got um, the Sierra combination in the middle and then um, just the denim shirt on top. Okay, so outfit number two, done. So the other thing that we could definitely pair with the Sierra, I'll give you a little bit of a, of a, um, top so I'm please ignore the wrinkles of these <laughs> we did not have time to steam today and I was like okay I yesterday I'm like okay for sure I'm gonna get the steam for the video tomorrow because I missed yesterday anyway so just please ignore the wrinkles um so pull on with belt loops and it is a five pocket so lots of girls like that kind of jean style I wonder how long it would be on me see on me definitely it would be a full length pant for sure so yeah just definitely I would say 30 to 31 inseam would be a good guess um and I'm just going to show you that little wide hem. It's kind of cute. It's smart that they put the belt loops because if you wore a belt with it, you'd never know it was a pull-on. Right, exactly. So, oh yeah, there's the, there's, see, ignore the wrinkle. I already warned you. <laughs> but yeah, fun. Yes, so lots of people say, like, I don't like how the, like, if I'm wearing a shorter top, I don't want it to look like a pull-on. I want it to look like a yeah. jean, right? So if you have a little skinny belt or something, it kind of does give that illusion of the five-pocket jean without the bulk of a five pocket. So sometimes if you're wearing a, a top that's a little bit tighter, you have that kick right here. Like no one, none of us really need to have draw any more attention to our midsection in most cases. Um, so yeah, I like that they put the belt loops on as well. So I did actually feedback that to tribal. So maybe it was me that got the, that, that got the uh, belt loops on. Okay, and then next, um, so this is definitely the Kim top for sure. There's always one little pr print peasant. Uh, this is definitely would be my choice. I have not tried this on yet, but I, th there is a good chance that I will be wearing it in a future video, uh, probably with these exact pants because they're my favorite Simply Pants. Um, okay, so little peasanty top, double print, and kind of a fun little sleeve. So not a, a little bit elastic. Oops, can you, you can't even see that. Kind I can see that. Sleeve, yeah, thinking. almost like a little poof, like a peplum sleeve almost or a bell sleeve. Yeah. But does have that little bit of elastic on it, so it will sort of have that little floof right there yeah so it's funny how when you put them with that brown pant the different colors jump out in this print like before we had got the pants yesterday I was like oh well for sure I'm just gonna put that with jeans or navy like I'm not even gonna think about the brown but now I love it with the brown yeah I yeah. do too it I, really pulls it out when it you put does. it together oh and look these boots even match <laughs> those pants too this is the danger with video. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm just going to put this on for the video. And then everybody loves it. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe I'll just buy it because it turned out so good. Okay, so we'll keep on there. And then this is the other. That was the last one. Yeah, and then this one. And then so we have this one in just plain navy. So this is just your basically your little ballet top. Um, very soft fabric. Very silky feeling. 
but still a t-shirt knit. So it's cool to the touch. It's not cozy like the sweater, um, but a really nice basic. So like actually, actually, this would be like the perfect navy if I wanted to wear this little kimono in the winter. Look at that. Perfect. Another find. And another find, exactly. Find number two for the video. So yeah, this is a really nice, like I would say not super big and not super small. Just an, an average, very typical tribal fit. Um, but I like that little bit of a boat neckline that's just nice and flat. So nice if you're wearing a really big long piece of jewelry. And then this one is not the same as the other um, tunic. It doesn't have the seam line, uh, but it's depends if you like if you like that sort of ditzy floral the nice thing about it is it has tons of different colors in it so it does have the blue for jeans it does have that little bit of the sierra and does have even the elm green so yeah, that's kind of a, the nice the el, the nice thing about this is if you were wearing it early you could wear it with like an elm green pant and pull that out and, and I'm, I'm definitely long enough for tights so if you're still a tights person definitely long enough okay so i think our storyboard is done Storyboard number one done. Okay. And where are we at for time? 720. Pretty darn good. Okay. So thank you. Oh, next is right here. Okay. Perfect. I don't have a for this one. Okay, so we're gonna do. Could throw the jacket on too, I guess. I think we're probably okay. Yeah. This is a pretty self-explanatory one. So oh, I'll, turn, I'll turn us around a little bit. There we go. Uh, so of course, even if we have our beautiful nutmegs and our spices and our navies, we can't throw the baby out with the bath water. Let's face it. Most of us lots wear lots and lots of black, um, and gray and kind of that window painty kind of print goes really, really nicely with this uh, grouping. So originally we did have this in our last video. We've had a number of people try it on, um, since the last video, I will tell you, it does fit a little bit smaller on the bottom and bigger on the top. So because of the, the shoulder, it kind of has that bit of a drape. So sort of similar to that jacket, it has that real sort of, like it has lots of volume in here. And that's not bad. It's just, that's just how, the, how it fits. But yet it's pretty straight at the bottom. So it's kind of one of those ones that if it works for you, great. If it doesn't, you know, it's just one of those things. So this is the dress length. So we have the blue and the gray in a dress, it does have a little pocket. And then in the next grouping, we're gonna show you the top, which is kind of more of a, like a tunic length. So yeah, so we have this little guy. We have, this was popular at our sale. We had this one already. This is actually a, a double knit. So nice if, if for a fall jacket or for a blazer in January. This would be definitely me in a blazer in January for sure. Oops, oh, good catch, good catch. Okay, and then next. So same as the navy vest that Maggie was wearing. We had, this was the original color that we had gotten it in. I did put this one on for one of the first, like last minute super tribal videos. We had gotten a box in that day. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna throw some of this on for Tribal Tuesday. I think it was two weeks ago. Uh, so we do have a couple left. Really nice fringe bottom. This will probably eventually land in my closet. It's just totally in my wheelhouse. Uh, really nice with a little black three quarter sleeve and a black pant. And this is what we got. This is why we included it today because we got finally got the jean to go in it. Okay, so it does require just slightly an explanation. So this is an actual, this is an actual pull-on, but it looks like it has a fly. So it doesn't have an actual zipper, but it does have a button and it is straight. So this is part of the new, newly revamped tribal denim. It's called Audrey. So if you know and love the regular Audrey fit, like, you know, that one with the, with the hidden elastic and the, the tighter leg in black and blue, if you have that one at home, this is sort of its big sister. It's newly revamped big sister. So does it have a functioning pocket, two pockets on the back, hidden elastic though, not a big hidden elastic like the other one, but hidden elastic right into the waistband. And I'm going to say like fairly, fairly trim jegging. Whoops fairly trim jegging, like not a wide leg, maybe, maybe slightly wider than the jean, but not a ton. So we, I'm pretty sure that we ordered this in multiple colors, but this is the first color that's arrived. It sort of fit perfectly into this charcoal color story. Faded black. Like it's almost like an over dye black. Yeah. yeah. 
something a little different. Yeah, it's like the other one is very dark black, like it's jet black. This one definitely has sort of like a gray cast to it. It almost looks like a weathered black, but it looks really cute with this sort of longer tunic. And I love me some leopard, so gotta love that. Super cute. Yeah, so I thought that was kind of a nice little early fall look. Okay, next on the list. Oh, and I'll show you our next, our boot that goes in this delivery, or in this delivery, in this grouping. So the other Miss Moo's boot that we got um, yesterday, today or yesterday, today I think, is this guy. Sort of our traditional Chelsea. So lots of, of people kind of like that Blundstone type of look. Um, I am, I know this is an unpopular opinion, but I'm not a Blundstone person. Um, I like them and then I put them on and I'm like, this is just not you, Kim. Like you just cannot do this. It just does not work for me. So I like a little bit more refined. I like a little bit more fashion. I don't like the bump. So to me, this kind of fills that void. It's sleek, it's luxurious, it's butter soft leather. It still has the little tab on it. So it's very reminiscent of that sort of beetle boot, Chelsea type of a look, but it really has a bit more style to it and gorgeous coloration. So the almost kind of like a vegetable dyed leather. In vegetable dye, the leather is never super uniform and it just has that real broken in kind of feeling. I didn't try this one on, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just as comfortable as the ones I'm wearing. Um, and a really nice, beautiful little, oh, my next story is up. But also a really nice little uh, boot with that nice green color. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, Miss Moose number two. So we are gonna move into our olive story. So, of course, this was the one that we started with, and we're like, okay, so we get this random olive sweater, but it's going to match at some point. So, this one does have the little bit of the Sierra fleck in it, just that little bit of brown, and a kind of a, like a bit of an 80s shaker, right? So, we probably all had one of these, and it's coming back, not nearly as sort of um, bubblegummy looking, definitely a flatter knit, but super fun. And again, just that titch shorter length. Uh, we've paired I it. I think, yeah. yeah oh, with yeah. This year, of see, Canada, look. I think it would pull it. Oh, I love oh, that. Yeah. I love that. Yes, yeah. I love it, it. It's in there, and it works, right? And yeah. so we have the exact same sweater as she's wearing in the, also green. in the green. And what's our new green called this year? Oh, ivy green. I was gonna say elm green, but ivy. And so that's exactly the same sweater, but look at how, so you could do kind of an interchangeable, head to toe, and then throw on any of those new extra pieces so really cute same pant as the sierra same as the little belt loop again please ignore the the creasing oh my goodness yeah. perfect and a little bit of a stretch suede twill and nice wide hem super cute i love this color of pant i got this pant in a jogger last year i love it it's such a nice color and it's not black right like in the winter it's so easy to just go black black or black and this really gives you a nice little base layer to throw on with any of the other jackets. Okay, and this is one of the ones that we had from spring and we just pulled it in because we thought, you know what? That's kind of a fun little pattern with it as well. So if you like a bit of a floral, pulls in a, some fun aubergine and really nice back to that ivy pant. Yeah, super cute. Okay, group number two, done. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, not that good. 727. Okay. So next I'm going to show you just quickly whip through because we're getting short on time. Whip through um, our the last of our first delivery of Tribal. And you may have seen this before, but I wanted to kind of pull it in to the collection. So we have a replenishment of our beach sweater. So that was actually from Spring Transition. And that really beautiful little dip dye has been very popular. We ordered it twice already. Um, in the same navy top, we also have it in burgundy, or wine actually, really pretty. We also have that same pant in black. So I know black is boring, but let's face it, we all have 12 pairs of black pants in our closet that because we need all of them for different tops. Um, so really nice in the suede twill, same top as we showed you last week, but again, really nice with black. And then here's the other color of the tunic. Uh, oh, here's the other color. So we have the spice in that tunic, which we did show you last week. Oh, live model. <laughs> that is excellent, excellent timing. Okay, so like you can see it looks so much nicer on than yeah, way, nicer. way nicer on than on the hanger. Um, and we're doing it with a great little jegging. So that's a new jegging 
crop. I really like the wash. I love the wash, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's very cute. Yeah, and what is the waist like? Uh, this is that same. Oh, the same. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So okay, the so fake button and zipper. Yeah, and turn around. Oh yeah, the super elastic. cute helps a lot yeah see and maggie is definitely someone who has the gap at the back and so normally a pull-on is not a great fit for her but it is definitely coming in nice and trim in the back yeah. so yeah no they look really cute mm -hmm. and a nice little ankle not super tight but like slim enough to be yeah. I'd like a jegging and i love it with the sneakers yeah, love it cute. so that's like the purse the, the really perfect like little august outfit like yes. it's not too wintry because of the pink yeah but it's not too summery either like it's not strappy but it's like a perfect for like an august evening like bonfire outfit yep perfect okay so yeah definitely um like way nicer on than on the hanger and we also have it in the burgundy or wine i don't know why i keep calling it burgundy wine okay so then and it is just sort of that tunicky look and it's just made to be that kind of bigger marshmallowy kind of fun and then last four items in the first delivery is we got this little sweater which is still kind of a one-off so we know that we have more coming in this in this uh, coloration almost like a little bit of a sand washed effect to it because one of the like it's all blue but one like the interior yarn and the exterior yarn are a little bit different and this is an exposed edge so really quite pretty and a raglan sleeve I love a raglan sleeve myself and yeah like a beautiful lake sort of sweater so to me this makes sense to do kind of that together um from a coloration perspective i love a, i love a summer sweater myself i'm always cold uh well i'm always cold in the daytime so <laughs> let me really be be frank i'm never never hot and i'm never cold in the evening um okay so next on the list this is actually one of the ones that we got before and i had forgotten about it uh, because I had folded it with the other sweaters. So requires a little bit of explanation. You might be thinking, oh, that's weird. I had a sweater like that in 1992 <laughs> and I'm just going to pull it out again. And the answer is probably you did because I think I did. <laughs> so a couple things um, with that whole 90s resurgence, they're definitely showing a bit of that preppy kind of look. For those of us who are like in the 38 to 49 year old age bracket, you may have remembered your Benetton, your Mondetta, um, the Ralph Lauren, the Polos, all that. So here's where I'm going with that. And it kind of is like the like the start of Tommy, right? Like that's when Blue Tommy color. Hilfiger got really popular. Um, so it has a little bit of that varsity collegiate kind of look, a little bit of an exposed V, some cabling. I love it. I think it's super fun for, and I think it's definitely like for for any it's definitely not an age thing. It's if you love that. Mm -hmm. Um and I think you could do the little front tuck if you wanted and definitely. well, Maggie could do the front tuck if she wanted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I personally could not. Um and then turn around. And it is just plain on the back. So she's got lots and lots of room. So it's definitely easy breezy on the back. It's not tight and it's really boxy drop shoulder. I think it's super fun. So it's just something different that we haven't seen for a while. Um, you could layer a tank underneath if you didn't want that V to be quite as low. Fun with a little bit. So blue sleeves, blue on the collar. Yeah, like, like a royal blue. It has like that royal blue, the jade green, those those sort of varsity colors yeah. were really, really popular when Tommy and Benetton and those kind of companies really got, got, um, got some traction. Um, and that's kind of where, to me, that sweater fits in. But I think it's great with jeans. I mean, throw that matches with... the sneakers. Like, super perfectly. great match with the sneakers. <laughs> I know. I love that. I think it's super Ooh. adorable. Oh, lost your, lost lost your tag. tag. That's okay. So, yeah. And just that little bit of a collar. So, yeah. I'm loving that style. I think it definitely is sort of, um, it's not an all-over look. I think I would do a current jean and I would do just the sweater like that. I wouldn't probably do the 90s flare high waist with that. I would probably just kind of mix it up a little bit, but to each their own. That's why fashion is so great. You can do with it what you like, so. Yeah, I awesome. like this, it's cute. Yeah, I do too. Okay, and just to follow up with that last delivery, we have our little relaxed sweatshirt. Uh, really, really nice, easy shoulder line. Funnel neck, no hood. So for lots of ladies who don't like a hood if they're at home. Um, French Terry, nice lightweight summer sweatshirt also comes in this color and then we have the little dress in blue yeah so here i was thinking oh we're gonna have like no time we're gonna have so much time to do the dolceza <laughs> we are not gonna have that much time okay 
So what we're going to start with really quickly is the prints because we're not going to have to put everything on the board. It's really easy to do the prints like this. So um, if you know and love Dolcezza, I'm just going to give you like a 10 second, if you don't know and love Dolcezza, um, it is a Canadian company that uh, screen, silk screens paintings onto fabric. They send the fabric to Turkey, then they bring it back and manufacture it in Montreal into uh, sportswear and outerwear. So on each tag, you will see that the painting is actually pictured. So this is what this is this is what the painting is derived from, as well as a description of the artist on the back and where they're from. This one I'm not going to read you all of them, don't worry. Uh, Maria Moretti, lovely lovers. Hmm. Uh, la, 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 and she's from Germany. So this is sort of has a bit like so it's sort of supposed to have faces on it. I don't see any faces on it. So I'm not one for people or faces on clothing. So for me this is a good thing. Um I love this because it does have a little bit of going back to black, going back to gray, and lots of ladies love, love, love this vest. This is a great walking vest um, if you're just thinking of kind of just being active in the fall. A nice little longer piece in the back, but beautiful coloration. So we have this one. Do you want to throw that on, or do you want to throw one on over yeah, your... Sure. Maybe this one, because it kind of matches what you're wearing. If it's a small size, yeah, medium. So new this year, they have two different weights of outerwear. So they have, this is the regular puffer weight. This is the traditional one. Uh, and I'll show you the other prints. This next one is this one. This one is super pretty. Very, very pretty and real. Real, in real. We are real, right? And then they're moving into a new weight, which is a more of a heavier weight. Oh, that's Somewhere cute. There. Yeah, super cute. Nice length. Really nice length. Really nice length. Nice for a hockey mom, because you, when you're sitting on the bleachers and your bum will get cold. Um, so that's, again, one of the new prints. And we don't we don't have a scarf yet for that one. Not for this one. No. Okay. So most of you who know and love Dolcezza know that all of the silk screen scarves are meant to go with. So we have one more that we're going to show you there. So yeah, print number one. And then we also have some sportswear that does coordinate. So we have the nice little vest. And this looks really heavy, but it's actually just printed. Like it's not actually knit. It's just a printed fabric. Oh, I didn't notice that. I yeah. know. Yeah. Like it is super light. And then this is sort of a sweatery like like a cozy or cool knit if that makes sense sort of a cross between those other two tribal tops that we talked about kind of a cross between that really 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 pretty on and then also the jean jacket in the same vein so the print looks really different in a couple of ways depending on the fabric depending on kind of how the print falls on the garment like it falls sort of as a landscape here and then not so much on the front so in that collection we have these three pieces uh do we have anything else left in this one i don't think so. no so this is just the first shipment so we'll definitely get more okay so that's that no it's the black and white one we have oh right okay so if there is a kim's pick this is it definitely um kind of a little bit of a shorter not bomber like bomber to me would be here a little bit of a longer bomber but isn't this just the most gorgeous print ever <gasps> oh i love it it has all my colors in it i love that little wine color i love the red the orange the yellow the white super pretty and that's the regular weight so not super super heavy and then the scarf right so that's definitely the showpiece so i like to wear it together because i'm a matchy matchy person but even we've sold the scarves for like, hey, I'm going to a wedding and I want a little pashmina. I don't want it to be heavy. I'm wearing a black dress. I just want something that's a little bit wow. Um, for $49, the scarves are a great little accessory. And they come in usually almost every print. So we don't have them in every print yet, but we will by the end of the season. Okay, so that's that. Then the other few pieces of coats and sports were kind of go together um this is the other print of the one that maggie's wearing in the heavy weight so this one is like looks like a lot a lot of print i mean but i think green is a color that we haven't seen for like a couple seasons so i'm kind of happy to have a little bit of kind of forest green olivey green again kind of looks like a lot but i think once you put it on like same as that one it would be a really nice mm -hmm. Um, a really nice fun sparkle okay and then sportswear going in with that same green print we have the long sleeve top so you'll, like I say you'll sort of see how the print hits so differently this is a plain charcoal uh, back plain charcoal sleeve and then just in the front and then every season they do the plain liners to go under the vests or under the jackets because it's impossible to find the right liner 
it's like, oh yeah, I'm going to buy that cute vest. I can't wear it till I find the liner. So I'm just going to pick one up whenever. And then it's like the end of the season and you have not picked one up because you haven't been able to find one. So this is why you buy the right color. Black also. Oh yes. Oh, also a good black. We try to carry it in black and white as well every, every season. And this is kind of a fun little piece, a little bit more sporty black sleeve. And this is just a, their, their traditional interlock kind of a material, bit of spandex. Another one of the new jackets with the scarf. Also this piece. Oh yeah. Correct. So yeah, moving into that, so moving into this, then we have that. So it looks really different, eh? Like really a different treatment. So it looks sort of similar to this, but it has a bit more athletic kind of influence to it, right? Stripe on the sleeve gives it the athletic. Yeah. yeah. And a little bit more of a banded bottom as opposed to the straight bottom. So just those little details they're very good with. And then for the first time, we have like a little set, which of course we all love the set. Well, I love the sets. So like I say, I'm not really a word person on clothing, but I think this is really well done. I love that little bit of bronze. And if you like a two piece set, so often people are like, I want a two piece jogging set. Do you know how often we get asked for that? <laughs> all the time. And finally, we have one that's kind of done. Like it's not just like, you know, like not like an old fashioned sort of like sweatsuit but it's a matchy set. So I think it's gonna be a really, really nice addition. So just the little words on the pant and then... Pulls together on the jacket. Yeah, a little bit more on the jacket. And a little bit of like almost a bit of bling, right? Like it's got not Swarovski, yeah. but like it looks sort of like blingier. So yeah, I think it's actually gonna be a really good set for lots of people. Okay, we're getting there, 740. We're only at, two. we do everything? I think just, just the two black. basics. Yeah. Yeah. Just the two basics. So in addition to the two black tops, we have just a couple of, we have this one, which oh. actually is from summer. You have a vest. I'll put it on. Oh yeah. Perfect. With, this was actually from summer, but we figured we'd pull it in. Um, perfect for a transitional piece. So if you're wanting that kind of ankle length, not a legging, not a sweatpant, really good fabric. Um, has, has a little bit of a black pocket, a bit of the little bling on the pockets. Probably can't see it really closely. Perfect. And then uh, this is the same pant that we had from the set. And I thought we had one more pant. Maybe not. I think that's all oh, that was okay. there, unless we forgot no, it. No, 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 probably not. Okay, and then we're gonna end with my favorite. Well, I, the Kim's pick is the jacket, but I do love this. Yeah. So gorgeous. So although it looks velvety, it isn't. Like it actually is like a flat nylon. It's not um, suede. Like remember, if you remember last year, we had one that was like a suede finish, but this one is actually just a flat, like regular nylon, ripstop nylon. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So it's kind of like a shiny, like a shiny, shiny. nylon. Exactly. Yeah. But I find that it looks dressy. Like it looks, it has that bit of a dress connotation, but then the pocket is really sort of farmhousey. Like it has that real big kind of like, I don't know, casual, like a lumberjack yeah. kind of pocket, I guess. Like it's big. It's not like a slash pocket. And that kind of gives it a little bit more of a casual look. So I think it's kind of however you dress it. You're dressing, I mean, we're dressing it here with just sort of a jean sneaker, whatever. Even if you put that over the little two piece set, it would definitely look dressier. So it kind of depends on where you're, where you're at. Oh, so nice. Very cute. Very cute. I like the length a lot. Yeah. A little bit different. A little bit different. And I think it would a be a nice. warmer maybe. Well, a nice walking vest for the fall, for sure. Like it's definitely one that you could wear into the winter season, as opposed to just sort of putting away when it gets cold and you pull your park out. Um, throw, throw on a little like um, micro fleece. And I think it would be really warm for the winter. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Super pretty. Okay, we're going to end. Well, that is our, that's our grand finale because it's so gorgeous. But. I am going to show you just a couple. I know this is like so bad, but we do get have a couple winter boots in. Oh, winter boots. Um, but this one is one that we did sell out of last year. So I do want to show it to you a little bit earlier. Uh, this is a new color called Mushroom. And I don't think I invented it. I think it actually is called Mushroom. <laughs> uh, and regular uh, regular laces and also, the, and also the zipper. So we did have this in black last year in a tall and a short. And this year so far, we've got it in the short. Um, I like it because again, it's not black, something different. And these are waterproof. These are Romicas. And then from Joseph Seibel, we did have one more. That's a, this is a, this is a winter ish boot. This one is winter. This one is like, it's got that minky lining in it. So kind of like, you know, those little minky blankets. Um, this is going to take you to like a minus 20 boot. Like it's not, maybe not when it's minus 40 and shoveling snow. Um, a couple, a few things, the gum sole, which again, I'm usually not a fan of, but 
I do like it because it, they brought in that little bit of white stitching, which I think really blends it nicely. And I love the heel on it, actually. I have to confess, I think it's a really fun heel, even if it's not my usual. Um, and I think it's one of the ones that you could wear right away. Like it's in, uh, this is a nice September boot and it's waterproof, top techs. Yeah, so. So although hard to look at winter boots right now, very hard. Um, but like I say, winter is coming. We gotta be prepared. No, it's like people are like, no, it's 30 degrees out today. We're not prepared. It's still August. It's still August, exactly. But we have been having lots and lots of inquiries about like, when are you getting your ball stuff in? Like, so we figured, ah, you know what, whatever. Um, we will be back with what we have to do UFOs this month. As soon as we get our big shipment in, uh, we're going to be doing UFOs one Wednesday. For those of you who don't know and love UFOs, it's like a whole new world. Um, but we're waiting until we have a decent stock selection, which we haven't had in the last month or six weeks. So hopefully that's rectified in the next couple of weeks. Um, okay, so please remember to hop on live with us next Wednesday at 7. If you are joining us late um, on the live, please make sure to leave us a comment. Hi, my name is, where you're watching from, and are you watching live or on the replay? And that is how you're gonna enter the draw for the $50 gift certificate, or gift card, um, that you can use to start your fall shopping. And yeah, if anyone have any questions in the comments, um, when I watch the video, I will um, answer your comment. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email or a Facebook message. We're always here uh, for you. So thank you, Maggie, for being our um, wonderful live model. As usual, I'm going to be, I'm getting very spoiled and I'm going to be very sad when she goes to university <laughs> in a few weeks. Um, I'll be back to doing my own model, like, oh, tough one. But anyways, thank you girls for joining us this evening. And uh, we look forward to seeing you Friday for Fashion Friday, the rescheduled Tribal Tuesday, which is going to be Fashion Friday. So. Hope that makes sense. Have a nice Wednesday evening and we will talk, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Good night.